Sophie I met on my first day when I was moving in. And Hannah, I knew who Hannah was long before Hannah knew who I was. We have so many fun little silly memories doing workouts together, doing dances together, baking together. Well, that's really good. The first thing I was drawn to with Allie, I think, is her infectious laugh. Oh, no. <laughs> her quick wit, um, her general positive energy and radiance. A little bit for good luck. <laughs> <laughs> the bonds that we formed on the team and that team culture like extends far beyond your time on the team. Yeah, it looks really good. Allie and I had plans to go to Turks and Caicos to celebrate both of the milestone of my medical school graduation, her college graduation. I have been snorkeling in that area many times and nothing felt different that day. We were kind of like leisurely, you know, floating on our way back. Suddenly out of nowhere, a large shark came up adjacent to our faces. It was aggressive, like it felt like it wanted to fight us. And I think both of us just responded the only way we could think, which was to fight back. Ultimately, in that moment, I bit Allie's foot. I remember I looked back after, because I was like, am I crazy or do not, I do not have a foot right now? We swam 50 to 75 yards back to the boat in the open ocean water me footless and bleeding profusely, and Sophie making sure I was okay from behind me. Immediately upon getting on the boat, Sophie tied a tourniquet on my leg to stop the bleeding and save my life. The phone rang, and I could see it was an international number, and I think it's just mother's intuition, but um, my body felt it immediately. Um, the nurse on the other end of the line said, Mrs. Truett, we have your daughter, Alexandra, and she's in very serious condition. Ali was airlifted to the nearest trauma center, which was in Miami, and I happened to not only be a medical student there, but on my general surgery rotation. I leaned so heavily on my family and on Hannah and on Sophie. The doctor came in and uh, he said, step one, I have to save your life. Step two is I'm going to try to save as much of your leg as possible. And step three, we'll talk about it after that. I think about my recovery almost in two ways of like a physical recovery and an emotional recovery. I was doing everything I could to sort of get myself strong. Amazing. Some things I've lost and I'll never get them back. And that's just my reality. Um, but the things that I can get back, I'm gonna fight for tooth and nail. And swimming and the water has been a place I've loved forever. And I was determined not to lose that love. She started just working out with her old swim coach who's been her swim coach since she was 12. And so I worked to get back in the water, which was really hard for me. You know, at that point, the last time I had heard the sound of water, I was swimming for my life. What Allie went through strips someone to their absolute core of who they are. And the core of Allie is, is inspiring, it is courageous, it is brave, kind, and at all points, Allie was who we know and love her to be. I think the truest form of friendship is this element of sacrificial love that you would do anything. I think experiencing Experiencing trauma and getting on the other side of it together is just uh, a bond that's un truly unbreakable. Yeah. For me, it sets the precedent that I'm not gonna let what happened to me stop me from doing what I wanna do and what I think I can do. And I'm showing myself that I'm stronger than I thought.